live from Sherrod Field at the class of 1952 Stadium. It is the Ivy League on ESPN as two of the top teams in the Ancient Eight meet for one of the most anticipated matchups of the season here on ESPN+. Plus. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome alongside Renee Washington. I'm John Moses. Well, it is finally here. The undefeated Princeton Tigers against the nationally ranked Cornell Big Red. Renee, the decision here today will go a long way toward determining who wins the Ivy League title. Absolutely. This is not only going to have the feel of a postseason game, but honestly more of like a championship game because whoever wins this is in the driver's seat. Two offensive powerhouses leading the country in shots on goal per game. It's going to be a good one. For Cornell Big Red, Tyler Bagley, the fifth-year senior, has become one of the most prolific goal scorers in the nation. Leads the Ivy in goal scored by a wide margin. Leads the Ivy and leads the country in shots, or excuse me, points per game with 2.38 coming into today. He's got 12 goals, 7 assists, a tremendously talented player, and he is going to be a player without a doubt that Prince is going to have to keep an eye on. And for the Princeton Tigers, they rank in the top 50 in the nation in scoring offense, led by Kevin O'Toole, who has scored seven times across his last five matches. Definitely going to be fun to watch these two playmakers, O'Toole and Bagley, go at it. O'Toole coming off of a U.S. Coaches and Top Door Soccer National Player of the Week honor. He has seven goals, seven assists, and has been a big reason behind the five-game winning streak that the Tigers are on coming into today. Princeton and Cornell from Sherrod Field. The first touch of this afternoon's match is coming up next. You're watching the Ivy League on ESPN+. Plus. Bouncing ball, Diaz Bonilla in the neighborhood. He heads it forward. O'Toole is running, and here comes the card. The question is whether or not this will be a penalty kick. It's a red. It definitely was a card. This was a great header by Diaz Bonilla, and then that foul was clearly a foul, led to a red card. It was out right outside of the 18. Ah, that's a tough, that's a. <laughs> what a massive loss for Cornell to lose Hilbert for the rest of this one. Cornell very calm on the sideline. I think I'd be losing it. I, without a doubt, thought it may have been a yellow card because of the fact that Walker Gillespie had the, the run, the better uh, spacing and was in front going to goal. But it looked like in that replay, their feet almost, you could argue, got tangled as they're both running for it. You know, we have the benefit of the second look, Renee, and that was my first thought. Feet got tangled up, worthy of a stoppage and perhaps a booking, but... Boy, a massive red card as Cornell will now play a man down the rest of the way. Yeah, I think just in the run of play, it almost looks like it was intentional and, and, and a dirty play. But looking again at that replay, that's unfortunate for the big red because I don't know about that one there. And now they have to play the remainder of this game a man down. You, you lose Hilbert. That changes a lot. I had a feeling we'd see a lot in this game and see it all. I was not expecting a red card, though. Tigers lining up a free kick with O'Toole and Pinto. It'll be O'Toole, saved by McSwain. And Kevin O'Toole hit that just about as perfect as you can. Aside from an action going in, everything else I think was right on the money for what he wanted. Just a great save by Brady McSwain. You look at this, the lefty curves it. It was going much like Pinto's free kick we saw earlier this half, headed for that upper 90. Beautifully done. Now a corner coming for the Tigers with the man advantage. Into the box, it's off the head and in, Walker Gillespie. Modasharu and Anelli. This is Anelli seeing three defenders come to him. Jen finally on it, and the Tigers send it aside. Charles ahead for O'Toole, who's got the touch and some space. Diaz Bonilla all alone. Diaz Bonilla scores for the Tigers. What a finish, and it could not have come at a better time for the Tigers. My goodness, their entire bench has stormed the field. I don't know how the referees are going to handle this one. Not There you go, pushing them off the field now. But you know what? Celebrate with your team, Daniel Diaz Bonilla, because you may have just helped punch an, an insurance goal that keeps them at that number one spot in the Ivy League. The extra pass by O'Toole, but look at the composure. Fakes the shot, gets a defender sliding, and then able to just 
put the ball away. Beautifully done by the Tigers. Wow. You know, Renee, you, you mentioned that, that adjective, composure. That was something we were talking about down the stretch of the first half. Which team would be able to remain composed in this second half to push their way toward victory? And Diaz Bonilla with a great example of it there. Cornell still with a player down. Play continues. Yeah, I think they're going to let this one ride out. And Nelly at the top of the box. Final seconds. Let's it rip. And it's off a of Tiger. It's going to go to the sideline. And the final seconds tick away. Princeton wins it. Survival against Cornell. 2-1 the final. Wow, wow, wow. We knew we were in for an exciting, crazy 90 minutes. And yes, we were. We saw it all. Some great, great soccer back and forth. Some gritty play. And Princeton really moving themselves into a nice spot in that, staying at that number one spot in the Ivy League to knock off the number two team. Oh, boy. Tigers improved to 5-0 and in league play. A crushing defeat for Big Red. They dropped to three and two. Two weeks left in the Ivy League season. Where will the title reside here in 2021?